The Appella was the popular deliberative assembly in the ancient Greek city-state of Sparta, corresponding to the Ecclesia in most other Greek states. Every Spartan male full citizen who had completed his 30th year was entitled to attend the meetings, which, according to Lycurgus, ordinance, must be held at the time of each full moon within the boundaries of Sparta. The word is derived from the Doric word appella, which originally meant wall, fence for animals and later assembly of people within the limits of the square. The explanation is given by Hesychius. Apelli, Sekoi, Ecclesiae. The festival Apelli was surely dedicated to the god Apollo and it was spread by the Dorians in central Greece, as it is proved by the use of the month Apelios. The meetings had in all probability taken place originally in the Agora, but were later transferred to the neighboring building known as the Skiers. According to Plutarch, a great retro was given by Pythia to Lycurgus. The old aristocratic council was substituted by the Gerusia. The meetings of the Appella should take place from time to time, and the citizens should have the power to debate and take the decisions. This right of the citizens was very soon limited. The kings Theopompus and Polydorus, probably during the 7th century BC, added to the retra that the kings and the elders could set aside any crooked decision of the people. The presiding officers were at first the kings, but in historical times the ephors, and the voting was conducted by shouts. If the president was doubtful as to the majority of voices, a division was taken and the votes were counted. The appella simply accepted or rejected the proposals submitted to it. In later times, too, the actual debate was almost, if not wholly, confined to the kings, elders, ephors and perhaps the other magistrates. The appella voted on peace and war, treaties and foreign policy in general. It decided which of the kings should conduct a campaign and settled questions of disputed succession to the throne. It elected elders, ephors and other magistrates, emancipated helots and perhaps voted on legal proposals. There is a single reference to a small assembly at Sparta, but nothing is known as to its nature or competence. The term appella does not occur in extant Spartan inscriptions, though two decrees of Gythium belonging to the Roman period refer to the mu epsilon gamma alpha lambda alpha iota pi epsilon lambda lambda alpha iota the appella was responsible for electing men to the Gerusia for life. Candidates were selected from the aristocrats and presented before the appella. The candidate who received the loudest applause became a member of the Gerusia. The appella also elected the five ephors annually. Ephors presided over meetings of the Gerusia and the appella. They could not run for re-election. The Gerusia presented motions before the appella. The appella then voted on the motions. However, unlike the Ecclesia in Athens, the appella did not debate. It merely approved or disapproved of measures. Moreover, the Gerusia always had the power to veto the decision of the appella.